not something you see every day. One of the most well-known politicians in the country, maybe the world, doing door-to-door -door retail politics. That's how big the stakes are this election cycle. Peter Ducey's live in Salt Lake City, where he caught up with Mitt Romney for an exclusive interview. Good evening, Peter. Good evening, Shannon. Tonight, we watched as Mitt Romney went door-to-door -door canvassing in suburban Salt Lake City. And the reactions from homeowners were about as surprised as you would expect if Mitt Romney turned up on your front porch. And since he doesn't need an introduction in Utah about his Senate campaign, he had a down-ballot candidate with him at each stop, trying to remind voters that there are a lot of close contests here, even though he has been running a mostly quiet campaign. Well, I've uh, started with a pretty good lead. Uh, having run for president, I'm well known in the state. Um, and uh, the state is a pretty Republican state as well. Those things combined make this not a, uh, a hotly contested race, uh, at least in the mind of most people. So uh, it's not getting the coverage it might. But, you know, for people who are in Utah, why well, this is an important race. When you do go door to door, what is the look on most people's faces when they see, hey, that's Mitt Romney outside? <laughs> I do get a, uh, what are you doing here? How did you arrive here? And, uh, you know, it's just random, of course, where we show up. And, uh, of course, the, uh, the reaction uh, changes from door to door. Uh, some Democrats are not as enthusiastic <laughs> as some Republicans, but by and large, a very, uh, very big welcome. If you win, how do you see yourself fitting in with a body where just about everybody is either trying to go viral or run for president in 2020? Yeah, I think I'm the, the, the one guy uh, that'll be in the United States Senate if I get there that's actually run for president and not planning on doing it again. Uh, and as a result of that, I think I have the freedom to really focus on issues that the people in our state care about, people in our country care about, that relates to our, our budget deficit, the amount of debt we have, as well as our immigration policies. So there's a lot I hope to be able to do. Hillary Clinton, uh, who also ran and lost, is now saying that she might want to run again. Uh, what do you think two years after the fact is going through her mind as somebody that's been there? I, I can't imagine that she would ever really seriously anticipate another run for president. Uh, the last one didn't work out so well. And, uh, and speaking from experience, if you had a campaign that didn't work, work out so well, take a lesson from that. The other big story this week, the caravan approaching might be a few weeks away, but the president is trying to take action by sending troops down to the southern border. Is that something that you support? Well, we can't have people just walk into our country. Uh, the people from the caravan or anybody else that wants to come into our country has to come in legally. That means get in line, go to our ports of entry, uh, make sure that they are able to be processed appropriately. Some will obviously return to their uh, original homes. Others will be able to legally qualify for refuge in our country, but that's a process they're going to have to pursue, and they can't just run in willy-nilly. Watching him canvas tonight, the night before Halloween, was almost like watching somebody dressed up as Mitt Romney going door to door trick or treating a day early. And he actually told me he has a Mitt Romney mask that might come out tomorrow. Shannon? I love that idea. We're still not over the guy who answered the door in the tiger snuggie or whatever that was. That was very sharp. Maybe he was early for Halloween too. I know it's got to be surprising if Mitt Romney shows up at your door. Peter, thank you.